it's Linda Canase with iCrafter. Excited to be here to introduce our October launch from iCrafter. We have a very eclectic collection this month. We have um, a new collection from Lori Whitlock, which is a birthday theme. We have uh, some autumn, um, kind of autumn Thanksgiving ideas uh, that we're introducing. And we have a little touch of winter holiday, maybe Christmas, or you'll have to take a look at that. Uh, I also want to let everyone know that we are introducing some new um, members to our inspiration team. It is an awesome team. Uh, we've expanded quite a bit. We've brought in a lot of interesting new um, members to share their take on die cutting. Um, and crafting, uh, so definitely stop by our blog um, October 1st to see what our blog hop is about. Again, tons of inspiration. Our collection is going to be just amazing, so let me go ahead and get started sharing this. So I'm going to start with our Chrysanthemum Blossom die. It has these two die shapes. One creates what you see is dark pink here, and the other creates the outer shape, which is the light pink here. It adds like some dimension to a um, chrysanthemum blossom. You can also see there's unique leaves. Again, there's a thin line to show the vein parts, and then there's a shadow part to create the outer part of the leaves. They're just, um, I don't know, it was just something really fun uh, and unique to do. Chrysanthemums are very much an autumn flower, so that was my thinking on that. I also have these words, thinking of you in a beautiful script, so you could add that to any kind of card that you want, or anything that you want. Be cute on a tag. So that is the Chrysanthemum Blossom die. The next one is our Geometric Reap. And it is, it's really fun because it has this nice wreath. It also cuts this opening. It has these wonderful words that say thank you. But what I loved when I was making this are these fun little leaves. And there are a ton of them. Lots and lots of leaves uh, that you can add to this wreath and make it a very, um, very organic, I guess is the best word to say. Uh, organic wreath here. Uh, there's that inside piece here to cut this window. I loved how um, Linnea made this project for us and she made it into a shaker card which is just awesome. It's a very modern wreath looking but again I love these leaves that can just make a wreath in and of themselves and you can do so many things with these little pieces. They're just so cute. So this is the geometric wreath. The next one is called Thanks Feather. And it has this beautiful, can you see that? A beautiful um, font that says thanks, which is great for, again, Thanksgiving or year-round. You could always send a thank you card. Then there are these feather dies. And I just wanted to make something that was very, um, very playful, I guess is the term. So there's a feather die. Here's a big word, thanks. And then you can also use some, uh, a little bit of leaf fine, an arrow, and a heart to make, um, to go across it to make a very, um, t I guess like a frame around your word, thanks, if you want. But there's these feathers that look just um, so playful that you could do some really fun things with it. But the main thing also is that this nice bold word thanks is perfect to do on any card any time of the year. So uh, it seemed to fit in nicely for Thanksgiving, but it can be used any time. So this is the thanks feather die. So next I have this folded maple leaf and you can see it also comes with the words happy autumn oh and this is a funny shape that it starts off with 
And then you get these fun maple leaves. But I wanted to show, let me show you real quickly um, what you can do. And this is just with regular printer paper. I, I spritz some um, distress or put down some distress ink and spritzed it with water and created these autumn colors. Oh, there are folds in there. Can you see that? I don't know if you, you can see it a little bit better there. There's horizontal folds and one vertical fold. And let me show you what I made with these. I just did up a ton of these. They're so easy to make. And again, because it's with just regular um, printer paper, you can make a ton of these and it's not using up a whole bunch of cardstock. You could just make these beautiful leaves. But I want it, <laughs> it just keeps going, doesn't it? Um, but I wanted to show real quickly how it's made. So let me move these aside a little bit. So here's a funny shape that you start off with. You do an accordion fold, up, down, up, down. When you get it all folded into this nice little sharp um, piece, you fold it up along the long edge and you would add some adhesive down the middle and this would hold together and then you'd have the maple leaf. So they're really easy to make and like I showed, you can make a ton of these. You can make a fun wreath. Um, the other thing too is you can uh, let children color onto um, uh, just printer paper, color in uh, autumn -y colors and then cut them out and fold them. It's just so much fun. It's so easy. Um, and this is the uh, folded maple leaf. And it would be so pretty for, oh, can you imagine if you did something like this at your Thanksgiving dinner table and put uh, someone's name so it's a place setting on each um, table setting spot. Tons of things you can do with this. Here it is as a card. And if you want, you can also add a little piece of um, craft wire to hold the stem or to create the stem beneath the um, leaf itself. So many things you can do with this. Absolutely have so much fun um, with these. Let me wrangle these leaves off to the side here. So next we have some Lori Whitlock um, dies that are a happy birthday theme which of course can be used year round because birthdays come all year round. So this is her happy birthday pop-up card and it's so cute because this piece right here you would align, there's two points on the sides, you would align that with the fold of a piece of cardstock already cut to your um, card size. Probably it works with an A2 horizontal card. So five and a half by four and a quarter. Um, but there are other sizes you can do it, use it with. And you die cut that after you align this, these points with the center fold. And then it opens up into a pop-up design. She also has these adorably cute. There's a present. There's this um, owl. Um, I think, what is that? There's candles that come up. I think that is a... Oh, I see. That is a little hat for the owl, a little birthday hat for the owl. You can, um, that is so cute. Oh, and there's a bow to go on top of the present, um, the little present here. And you can see on the front, there's um, six little birthday gifts on the front of this card example. So this is her happy birthday pop-up card. Next on the birthday theme, this is a cupcake wrapper, and it cuts this nice, long, scalloped edge cupcake wrapper. You would cut it out, hook it together, and it would fit a standard cupcake. And you can always tape it smaller if you're doing a smaller size cupcake. Um, it's adjustable. There are tons of little other additional pieces. There are 11 dies in the set. You can see it's decorated with the cupcake uh, design in the center and then a little um, cupcake topper that says wish it is so so cute there's balloons and there's leaves so you could use it like year-round you could do it for a birthday or just even as a um, gift for someone if you're giving them some cupcakes 
so cute. This is the cupcake wrapper. Next, we have the happy birthday set. And it works beautifully for a um, slimline card. You can see how wide that goes. And nice big letters. If you wanted to, you could also use it with her uh, flip and fold um, card, the one that rotates open. Uh, you could do, because there's four panels when you open that, you could do um, B day, B, there's a hyphen and day, so birthday. Uh, there's candles, there's a hat, there's happy. It's just the cutest thing, but it, the nice thing is it also works on a slimline card, the nice width. And like I said, she also thought it through that it fits nicely on the um, flip and fold card. So it sits in those panels. So it, this is her happy birthday set. And for gift giving, she has this bag with bow dye, which is really cute. It's nice because it makes a very large size bag. Uh, the bag itself is approximately three inches wide by four and three quarter inches high. And then it's also one and three eighths inches deep. So it's a very good size bag. The other nice thing is you get these nice pieces to make these bows and um, the bows are just so gorgeous. Of course, there's little embellishing pieces. It has nine shapes. But again, I think the, the big thing is, is that this bag is just such a perfect little, um, perfect size. It's bigger than, than you would imagine for uh, a die set. And this is her bag with bow die set. Really cute. Great for gift giving. And then she has this gift card box, which is a... Um, easel type sits up. It's large enough to hold a gift card inside, but look at all these pieces that you get with this. There are 16 dies in the set. It makes a box, it holds a gift card, and then this top hooks on there so that you can do an easel shape for the header. And it comes with, oh my gosh, graduation, flowers, a cake, uh, it says friend, it says thanks, there's this cute scalloped border here, there's a balloon, celebrate, congrats, and then some more banner pieces. It is just amazing. It is a great size box. Let's see, the box size is approximately two and a half inches by three quarter inches by three and three eighths. So three and three eighths this way, Two and a half this way and then the height is three quarter inches so it's a good size box plus there's so many things you can do to embellish it it is just so cute it's called the gift card box and that's the designs from Lori Whitlock now I have two more pieces that are um, somewhat holiday theme I guess so I'm going to start off, this is the Buffalo Plaid stencil. Now, you can see the stencil pattern there. So what I did was I made it long enough for a slimline card, but wide enough for a, an A2 card. Okay. The other thing too, I wanted to make it a little different, so I made it at angles rather than straight across standard plaid kind of design. <clears throat> So what I did, because it's a fun stencil, I made, uh, just stenciled a simple band to go around a coffee cup. So you could see it makes a beautiful uh, angular shape. Um, here is another sample. And you can do two different colors, of course, not a problem. But you could see how um, colorful and playful it is when it's at an angle like that, so many fun things you can do with it. And it's, it doesn't have to be, I mean, I know these two samples kind of look Christmassy, but you can use it year round. It's just something that I wanted to do to make a nice um, background. You can do a lot of mixed media ideas with this as well. So I wanted to show another, a die that I also designed um, and it kind of works with this. I'm going to set this aside. So this is my Scotty Holiday die set. 
and they are two little two little um, Scottish Terriers or West Highland Terriers depending on the color that you do that you use to make them um, there's the word cheers there's bows for them to wear and their little eyes right here and it's a simple little um, design but I wanted to do something that had a little bit of a vintage look to it so you can imagine what this would look like how fun this would look with the buffalo plaid you could just see it coming together if you um, design something with them together but I also I just wanted to do um, I'm a dog lover, so what can I say? But I just wanted to do something with the Scottish Terrier and the West Highland Terrier look. And I thought it would just be so perfect with the buffalo plaid kind of uh, cheerful, cheerful holiday or year round. You could use these dogs anywhere. You don't have to use the word cheer, so it's not necessarily a holiday theme. But they're just the cutest little dogs. And I love the fact that one's kind of running and the other sitting and just they are just so much fun. So so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, a little bit of everything, a little eclectic collection, uh, some amazing uh, birthday ideas that can be used, of course, year round. Uh, from And these designs are from Lori Whitlock. We're so excited about that. We also have some wonderful ideas for autumn or Thanksgiving um, ideas. Um, and like I said, we're just starting a little touch of Christmas ideas. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that like button. Um, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.